I'm thinking about alcohol. Cool. Just because you're thinking about alcohol doesn't mean you're craving. You think about your ex all the time. Do you, you don't want them back. Just because I'm thinking about them doesn't mean I want that relationship. Just because you're thinking about alcohol does not mean you're still in a relationship with it. So we also look at this and go, I'm an ex-alcoholic. It means I used to have a physical addiction and I was in love. I had a relationship, a deep romantic relationship with alcohol. They were in my body every day. When I was awake, when I was asleep, when I was bored, when I was excited, when I had nothing to do, when I had everything to do, they were literally the emotional entanglement that I had. We broke up, dude. We're not cool. We're not friends. They killed me. We broke up. I am an ex-alcoholic. Not only did I break all ties, I got a restraining order, dude. You stay over there. We're not in a relationship anymore, and I don't want to be in one. We're never going to be together again. That was the most toxic relationship of my life. And so a lot of people go like, do once an alcoholic, always an alcoholic. Not true. That's not how science works. If you keep acting like an alcoholic, you will always be an alcoholic and you will always find reasons why you feel forever broken. You're always going to fear your mind. You're always going to operate within the label of alcoholic. You're always going to use that to limit your ability to live opposed to becoming someone that doesn't practice that behavior, doesn't want that behavior, doesn't condone that behavior, and will never practice that behavior again. When you don't think like an alcoholic, you don't act like an alcoholic, you're not addicted like an alcoholic, you are not an alcoholic. Facts!